Um, I want to tell you a bit about the organization. I think many of you know about it and have even engaged it in a number of ways. But before I do that, um, I have a few resources and a sign-up list that I'd like to send around. Um, so if you've already um, signed up or get the emails on the Youth Engagement Network, um, you don't need to put your name on there, but if you don't, sign up. And then it gives you the opportunity to hear about programming, resources, and opportunities and skills that are particularly directed at young people. Um, in my capacity as Youth Engagement Coordinator, um, the idea is to let you know about the organization, but also to invite you into the organization. Whenever you hear in my presentation, in the video piece in a moment, um, our or us, it's not CLWR, it's all of us. Because the Canadian Looking World Relief um, really is the mission arm, or the development arm of the Lutheran community in Canada. Uh, we have an official relationship with the Young Adult Lutheran Church in Canada, of which all of you are a part, if you're part of uh, one of the congregations of the MNO Synod, as well as Lutheran Church Canada. But, um, so when, when I'm speaking about our and us, you are a part of that. And so when we're talking about our work in the world, humanitarian work, relief work, development work, um, it's work that comes from you as your families and as your congregations. Um, and, uh, and then we go and work with partner organizations, often in Southern Hemisphere uh, countries. Okay, so I want to invite you into that. I want to let you know about that work. And, um, and I want to invite you to engage the work, too, in your local context. Uh, founded in 1946, so 68 years ago, Canadian Lutheran World Relief is a specialized agency of the Lutheran community in Canada. CLWR offers Canadians opportunities to serve the needs of others. CLWR's vision is a world where people live in justice, peace, and dignity, united in diversity, and empowered to achieve their universal rights to basic needs and a quality of life. I visited a number of your congregations um, in the past year and a half or so since I've been in this position. Um, so I'm aware of a number of ways in which congregations have uh, been involved, and also how youth in particular um, in your congregations, including some of you, have been involved with Canadian Lutheran World Relief, raising awareness and, uh, and raising funds, too, for the work that we do together. Uh, more recently, maybe you've heard, and uh, maybe even some of you have been to the warehouse, you saw a few pictures of some sweaters there. Have people heard about the campaign that we had in the fall and the winter around sweaters? Yeah. Oh, no. Yes. What did we do? What was the thing that Lutherans from across Canada got involved in? Collected <laughs> sweaters, yeah. Boards, you remember where they were destined? Syria. Syria, yeah. Um, maybe you've heard about what's going on in Syria. The Assad regime is killing so many citizens, and so people are fleeing. That's sort of in a nutshell. Um, and so the bordering country is Jordan. There's an, a refugee camp there called Zatari. And, um, and we're connected to um, that refugee camp um, by sending commodity shipments as we're able. And so um, in the early fall, we talked, about, we talked with our partner organization there about sending warm clothing for winter months. And so we collected these sweaters um, across Canada in the month of October, set a goal of 10,000. The number that was in that video clip there from the end of November was 40,000, so um, that's kind of what we thought was going to be the number. In the end, we've shipped three shipments totaling 70,237 sweaters. We've got our website, our YouTube channel has sort of expanded videos, so if there's something on there that piqued your interest about the um, sweater campaign or about the Peru experience or other aspects of CLWR, we've got a fair bit of video content on our YouTube channel. Um, I just started up a youth Twitter account, so um, check that out. I've hashtagged MNO Youth a few times already today. And, um, and yeah, check out our Facebook uh, page for sure, too. It's uh, facebook.com slash CLWR. Well, thanks, Tyler, for, for being here and, uh, and uh, helping us to see what we're involved with.
And we're hoping that by the end of this weekend, you will have a deeper, fuller understanding and fuller ability, even skill set, to distinguish between good news and let's say bad news. So why is it important to be here? Well, for me, I think it's, it's important enough to keep saying this good news that we're going to explore a little bit more about who God is and what God has made in terms of promises. And then as we figure out what is bad news, you're going to see that maybe some of the things you thought were good news actually were bad news. And some of the things you thought were bad news actually turn out to be good news. So that's my hope for this weekend, and that's why I'm here. But you're going to share with us things that we like to learn and know too. So that's how it's going to be open source. We're going to be sharing with each other all of our ideas, and we're going to be doing uh, that in a number of ways. And what that means is that we're not the experts. And neither are you the experts, but we're all the experts. So it's not about who knows the stuff and who learns the stuff, but it's about all of us being the experts, sharing our knowledge, sharing our understanding. This is a